Supposed to give you a kiss. A kiss? I think so. Or keys, maybe keys. No, no. Keys to your apartment? Keys or kiss? Keys. Oh, uh, keys. Yes. Right. To the car or to the apartment? <laughs> or to your heart? An air keys. An air keys. An air keys. Aspiration? Yes. What's, your, what's your aspiration? Wow. What's your motivation in yeah. life? <laughs> to make you a better man, Paul. <laughs> Thank you. you did. <laughs> what are your aspirations? My aspirations, well, I mean, that's a, that's a gigantic goal. Uh, I don't know. We have uh, a few days to talk about this, but my aspirations right now are very simple. Enjoy my weekend here in Barcelona with oh, my brother, Barcelona. And then, uh, and explore this beautiful city with my brother. And to thank all of you guys, for having us here and for supporting our show, supporting us and supporting ISF. I cannot thank you. Before we go back to work in July, um, you know, it's, it's nice to travel uh, and to know that we're doing all the, the things that we're going to do next year for a reason and that is enjoyed all over the world because we don't. We don't really uh, get to see much of that. Yeah, you guys are very good actors because you pretend like yeah. you like the show. <laughs> yeah, and it makes us. They make it. They're all hired by. These are all Warner the Brothers. Studio okay, well, <laughs> said, employees of Warner Brothers. Thank you for. Uh, oh, thank you. Straight vodka, perfect. <laughs> it's amazing when they get it in these little. Plastic. It's called so calm. So calm. Which is uh, not what's we're, we're going to get wild. When this is really not what's going Damn it, I said. I said Talk to me. Dimi. <laughs> hey, hello. 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 There you go. Hello. I'm right at the back. Sorry, I couldn't get anywhere near the center. I just wanted to ask Ian. Clearly, you're from Barcelona. No. <laughs> it's great to speak to a native. <laughs> I'm from London, actually. No. I live over here, though. Crazy. <laughs> yes, it is. But it's great. I just wanted to ask Ian, how hard do you find to play Damon and all his facial expressions? Because I think you're brilliant. You're really good. How hard do you Thank you. I think that's, that's all I do is I just... Constantly choking. I'm, I'm choking a lot. So I actually... Uh, I, it, it's uh, one of those things, Paul and I all, both of us have our little things that we do and we kind of like to poke fun at each other because it's great when we, do, when we do imitations of one another. It's kind of great because then both of us see exactly what we do because it's, it's the outside looking in and uh, it's pretty awesome. We do it? Yeah, we can do it. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, I'll turn out and I'll go back in and do it. So I'm Stefan, or Paul, and he's going to be Dan. Okay, hey, Paul, one, two, three. Two. <laughs> Hello. Hello. When, I, when we auditioned, we auditioned together. We didn't say any lines, we did that. Gave us the part on the spot. Oh. <laughs> These guys are phenomenal. I, to answer your question seriously, it's just, uh, you know, it's fun playing this character and, you know, the, the, the Damon is sort of, yes, somewhat animated at times, um, and uh, <laughs> it's the crazy thought process that's going on in the back of my mind that I can't explain to you what it is because I'll probably be arrested. Um, <laughs> so, well, This is my life. Do you know what's left? This way. No. Your left. Not mine. 
I mean, do you even know what left is? <laughs> okay. Hello. Hello. I'm Aina from Spain. Yes. I have a really important question for you too. <laughs> better be good. <laughs> yeah. Why Damon and Stefan are in love from Elena? I cannot understand that. Are they in love with Elena? Yeah. They freaking wrote it. I don't get it either. No, okay. <laughs> Um, I think it's, um, on a serious level, I think it's because, like, psychologically, it's like the, the, the um, physical similarity between them, between her and uh, Catherine, uh, is almost, it's, it's, like, it's like inbred in them, you know? Can you imagine that, imagine, you're in love with a girl who looks identical to, not even identical, who literally is the other girl that you were in love with, that for a century and a half. That's gonna be exceptionally weird for Damon, because he got both of them, and he wanted them both. And so now his brother's got them. <laughs> what are you talking about? I, mean, I, what do you mean you wanted them and then I want I was also involved in this. <laughs> well, I know, but you know, it's gotta be kind of hard because Damon wanted Catherine for 150 years and realized that she wanted nothing to do with him. So we think. Who knows? Maybe in the series finale she'll be like, and, uh, it was you who so kind. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> then, be it. And then Klaus, and then Klaus comes and stakes Damon and yeah. <laughs> And then Klaus looks at me and I go, give me a high five. <laughs> Have a clouds and kind of walk off in the sunset. The ending of it. <laughs> the ending so of it. So anti-climactic. Yeah, I don't know why. Answer okay. your question. <laughs> um, hi. <laughs> oh, here. Yeah, you Thank you all. Thank you for coming, you guys. Um, Thank you for having us. You're amazing. And we just want to know, I'm going to go straight to the point. What's gonna happen next season? I mean, <laughs> you going, you know, crazy and evil, and you're kissing Elena. Come on, you have to give something. Come on! <laughs> First of all, yes, she is going crazy. Wait till I find out. And secondly, <laughs> I didn't kiss her, she kissed me. I was wasted. It is a world of I'm dying. I, well, I don't know. Drank uh, too much. You know, crazy. <laughs> Actually, it's one of those funny things because I talked to Kevin Williamson a couple, a couple weeks ago and he was sort of going into what season three is going to be about. And they're obviously not going to tell us much because they know that we're going to talk to you guys. But I did find out that a lot of the, and Paul will attest to this, a lot of the mythology that we had to get through in season two. Hey. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be, we're going to be going back to a lot of the psychological thriller, the scares, the nitty gritty, uh, more character based stuff. Uh, it's going to be fun, but we don't know anything because they know that we'll spill our No more Moonstone. No more Moonstone. <laughs> By the end of it, I was like, I don't even know what the hell's going on right now. <laughs> Moonstone? What? <laughs> Oh, it was good. They they were kind of together nicely. We're, we're, it was so season three. Honestly, honestly, we don't know what it's going to be about, but I will say that it's going to get back to the sort of the psychological thriller, scare um, aspects, which made the show so compelling. Where you know it's been a while since I've been sitting in my seat watching the show, and where you kind of jump for a second. And I think those moments are coming back because they lend it. You know. And I don't know, I don't know how long my character is going to be off the off the wall, but I'm kind of hoping he gets to have some fun and just go a little crazy for for a while. I think what if Stefan and Damon and Klaus and Elijah all went to Vegas and partied <laughs> and, <laughs> and just ate everyone <laughs> and gambled? You know, it's like it's like The Hangover, but they wake up and it's like all dead. You know, but they're like, oh man, there's a lion. In You know, like Damon loses a hand. <laughs> you know? Could be cool. 
we have our next film lined up. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. Where are you? Yes. Hey, hi guys. <laughs> Welcome to Spain. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. my, my, my name is Zenaida from Spain. Uh, hi. hi. And I have a question for Orian. What do you think was the, the best option to demo for, for demo to find uh, Stefan? Uh, Just follow the blood bags in your whiskey bottle. Or Katrina Petrova. Thank you. Wait, what is What is the, the, the best option for, for Damon to find Stefan? Well, he doesn't want to find me. He's like, this is great. <laughs> I, don't, it, I, I think Damon might have to come to a, he might have a, a, a mental crossroads where he used to say, well, finally, Stefan, the little bastard, is out of the picture. His girl's feeling pretty sorry for me right now. It's good. But then I kind of want to go, you know, get hammered with my brother and, you know, drink lots of blood. Why do you keep talking about just getting hammered? He's all drinking, well, you, they're all drinking blood. And like, going out and partying. <laughs> Stephen's just finally going to be in front. Let's be honest there. Well, Damon's and a I don't believe you. Damon is a lush. And, you know, to go out and have a party with his brother could be a little bit of fun. So, I don't know what Damon's best option is, and I don't know if Damon knows what Damon's best option is, but I'll tell you what, I will try not to screw it up. <laughs> Hi guys, we Hi. Hi, we're over here. The show you from, we've flown over from the UK, we love the show, we love you guys. All the parts, so you, 